Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us. In symbolism, on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. There was this incident that happened at Folsom Lake. This is only one incident out of the billions that are going on right now while the Pope is here visiting in the USA. All of these signs pointing that we're nearing the time when the bottomless pit will be opened of the Bible, the Revelation 911 beast will be released. Well, this lake right here actually just overnight went dry, and thousands of fish were seen on the empty lake bottom through there. Now, everything has been shown that it basically was the dams being opened up to let all the water out and such. But as we've shown on our channel, even all that is still the symbolism. And in the book of Acts 2 and 7, God said he would show signs in the heavens and the earth. We are receiving so many signs that we're nearing this time in the Bible of the Revelation 911 beast being released. This black smoke from the abyss. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven into the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit. At the same time this happened, last night on a show called Dominion, which actually shows the end times coming. There we go. On this show right here, Dominion, last night it showed the darkness coming. A vial was dropped by one of the archangels and a darkness came out that is going to cause people to kill one another. That's another thing we've mapped out on our channel. Most of these, these crazy murders and things and shooting sprees that are going on are controlled by this darkness, this beast that's rising from the pits of hell to be released when Michael the archangel stands up to fight Satan and such. But all of that is in concordance with the... I mean, look, we just had this duck crash thing go on the other day. Four dead, 44 hurt in the Seattle crash where this duck thing crashed. When we mapped that out, it showed a lot of the same things. So let's go over and show this. It actually shows, right here at Folsom Lake, we're just going to show quickly that it shows what is known as the beast out of the sea coming. All of this is, is done by God. God is spiritual. Even when an architect designs something, it comes out the way that it's supposed to, to show that we're nearing the end of days. Can you see the beast out of the sea that actually looks like a giant pirate character that we've shown before on our channel? This guy coming? You can laugh all you want, but he's hitting this thing right here, which is going to destroy a big part of the planet. This big dome right here. It has a lot of things to do with the fifth age coming, and when the beast is released from the bottomless pit. Just as right here on this Dendera chart. Remember, from Abraham to Jesus went to Egypt. Moses was taken out from underneath the burdens of Egypt. All of these map out the end of days. If you look right about here, you'll begin to see Obama's face, his eye, his mouth. If not, realize he is this Pharaoh. Here is Jesus Christ casting down the accuser. And this is the woman of the Bible ready to meet him. And that's going to be a giant earthquake. And then you can see Obama is revealed as the man of perdition, a Judas. The mask comes off. And there's that beast out of the sea coming. See him right there? It's an actual spirit. See him up here running these guillotines? This guy ends up inside of Prince William. All of that. See the trumpets blowing? And this dark smoke comes out that will cause people to kill one another after a giant earthquake event. Look, you can't deny that. It's right there. Lincoln for the $5 bill, the fifth age. Let's show that he ends up in Prince William real quick. These two ancient glyphs will show this of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. Remember Moses and Ramses, that's the basics of the fight for, for the end times and everything. Just like Jesus versus Satan, Moses versus Ramses. Hidden on this one upside down, it shows everything. How is this done? Spiritually. Here you can see when Obama's mask comes off perfectly verifying that other glyph we just showed with his mask coming off. And that bull 
When we've mapped this out, this bull mask represents over in Syria, where all the refugees are streaming around across the world. All of the Muslim refugees, supposed refugees, Muslim soldiers are spreading all around the world from Syria and like Damascus. That guy coming when his mask comes off. See the pirate guy going right down and into Prince William with the harp for the harp machine going right into the pineal gland. Here's a glyph that shows how they control things through the mirrors. See this dragon right here in control of everything? And then it actually shows the event when all of this begins. It's just doing this fast. Up here is the actual rapture type event. There's the Temple of God. Jesus Christ on the right hand side he's casting down this accuser guy and the sword that comes out of his mouth you see the souls going up right here as this giant cataclysmic event happens see that guy ending up by these two domes just like the domes we saw this represents the San Onofre power plant which is just a giant bomb just ready to blow up and start the San Andreas fault line going through there. See this whale? That represents our oil for all of us to go up. This is on many other verified things we've shown. You can see that right there. That's that guy coming. There it is. God have mercy on us all. So there he is right there going into the pineal gland. The black smoke. Let's head back over there. That is all this event right here, right on this magazine cover. See all of these nations rising up? The beast out of the sea, as they call it. They'll all make the new world order. And then over here you can see the woman leaving, and this rocket ship represents the oil for everybody to leave. Castro oil. See the 11.5 earthquake coming? See the turtle right here? Here, I'll show you something. This is in the Denver International Airport also. These are all, all vision boards. They're right in front of everybody. You see the whale for the oil and the sign of Jonah, the only sign we'll get at the end, and there's the turtle, our covering cherub and stuff, and all of us leaving with the woman of the Bible right then and there. And there's, that's supposed to be Obama right there, the leopard, there's Miss Obama, and it's the end of the time of the blue, and now the red comes upon the world. These ten horns represent these, these ten nations all coming together with the secret government of the USA as Obama betrays us and lets it all happen. Pharaoh and the Red Sea. We have to go through it again. The earthquake is what is going to part the Red Sea. We're basically waiting on all of them to come after us and such through there. But you can see that that's it right there. See the turtle? See the turtle and the oil? See how that perfect that is? I mean the turtle, the whale for the oil, and the woman. The turtle the ship, castor oil, and the woman. God have mercy on us all. And right here, this guy rises. The beast out of the sea. An actual spirit. Right there. Oops. Take that one off. There you go. And that's why that right there is the lake. And that's why the lake is empty. It represents putting in the key to open the abyss. And to let everything out. Look how perfect that is. You can see him there. See his eye? Perfect. 50, the fifth age coming. 5, the fifth age coming. A giant cataclysm is coming. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, everybody. May God have mercy on us all. And I'll see you all at the wedding feast of the Lamb. Hallelujah.